All right, let me tell y'all something right now. Let me tell y'all something right now. HBO is stressing me out, okay? And if these rumors are true that I'm going to be talking about a little bit later on in the video, then we should all be very afraid. I don't know what's going on over there. All right, so we cannot waste any time at all. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the fact that season two apparently will be shorter there were plans for 10 episodes and apparently we're getting eight. And then I wanna talk about the rumors that have been flying around about HBO and the rewrites and you know, sex scenes that are apparently degrading that certain uh, actors did not wanna be a part of. Girl, it's just a mess, it's just a mess. So let's let's start, let's start. So this says House of the Dragon to get shorter season two as HBO series eyes season three green light so uh house of the dragon will consist of season two will consist of eight episodes two fewer than season one um it is part of a long-term plan for the show which includes hbo mulling a green light for a third season uh the news comes as production is about to begin on season two in the uk obviously they're trying to aim for a summer 2024 premiere um, they're also saying that the initial plan was for another 10 episode arc, which eventually changed leading to some script rewrites. Remember we were talking about them having to rewrite certain things and that causing a delay in production. I'll get into the rumors about the rewrites, uh, later and what caused them apparently, allegedly. All right. Given the leadership change at HBO's parent company, some pointed at Warner Brothers leadership's focus on cost cutting an HBO spokesperson who confirmed to deadline that season two will contain eight episodes stressed that the episode count trim was story driven. Okay, girl. <laughs> okay. Okay. It has been, it has been reported that house of the dragons creative team had envisioned the series running for three or four seasons. Um, I hear executive producer showrunner, uh, Ryan Condal, working with author, executive producer George R. R. Martin, took a step back as season two was being put together to take a big picture view of the series, which follows, of course, Martin's Fire and Blood. Um, so they're just figuring out the narrative flow, including how to break up the stories season to season and what battles to include and when, as part of that, season three has apparently been mapped out, probably will get greenlit. HBO is seriously considering committing to moving ahead with scripts, casting, and a production plan as the network too is trying to think long-term instead of season to season. And it's just like, okay, girl, like y'all are trying to think ahead, plan so far ahead, we got to think, you know, long-term instead of season to season. Bitch, we need to be thinking episode to episode right now. Y'all are jumping way too far ahead. We need to develop these characters in the show right now, bitch. What the fuck are y'all cutting out two episodes, girl? We need the entirety of the 10. Girl, what did George R. R. Martin say? What did George R. R. Martin say? He said, I am thrilled that we still have 10 hours every season to tell our tale. Um, this was this was like I think weeks ago. He said, "I hope that will continue to be true. It's going to take four full seasons of ten episodes each to do justice to the Dance of Dragons from start to Dance of the Dragons from start to finish." That's what he said. That's what he said. So I don't know. I don't know. We already know how it. We already know how that shit goes when y'all start cutting corners, cutting shit down, cut shit. It's just like. But I want to talk about these rumors that are coming out because of the rewrites and the delays in production, okay? And to do that, I'm gonna I'm uh, talk about this this uh, TikTok my best friend sent me. Um, this TikTok is from Kay Sharice on TikTok. I think her, her, her full name is Kayla Sharice, okay? So she got this information from two anonymous sources, I think, who have been uh, really reliable and write about spoilers and stuff that we had seen um, in the previous season, okay? So they're pretty reliable sources. Uh, but I just want to, of course, always let y'all know that these are, that what I'm about to talk about um, is room is rumors compared to like the official deadline article that I read. This next part of the video is just gonna be rumors. So take all of this with a grain of salt. But in the TikTok, she was discussing these following things. First of all, apparently, Miguel wanted House of the Dragon to run for, to run for three seasons, but George R. R. Martin wanted four. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, it makes sense to want four. Um, especially with the disaster that we saw in the original series. Tell the damn story. Take as much time as you need. We need, if especially if they were trying to have Daenerys 
go off the rails. We needed two seasons to watch her descent. If you really want to make to, to make it believable that she was gonna go mad, like they should have had one season for Cer to to defeat Cersei or whatever, and then another for the Night King. A whole entire season for the I don't know, girl. The shit was fucked up. They it was fucked up. Anyway, that was one rumor, right? That Miguel wanted House of Dragon to run for three seasons, but George wanted four. Miguel is gone now, so Ryan is trying to accommodate. The second one, apparently HBO does not like the production delays and are apparent, they're apparently blaming Condal for that, um, for putting stuff on hold uh, to focus on big picture writing. And I'm just like, honestly, I would rather something take its time, but I guess the executives are not. They're just like, girl, we need this money. We need this coin right now. Bitch, fuck the writing. Fuck all that shit, bitch. <laughs> and it's so weird to me, especially knowing what happened in the first um, the, the original series, like y'all know, y'all fuck this up. It's it's, it's really going to be hard, right, <laughs> to get people excited for anything else in this world, right? I know George knows that. That's why I'm fucking pissed. So apparently, HBO is allegedly thinking about removing Condal as showrunner because of the delays. And I'm just like, girl, if the writing sucks, we got to do this. Shit. We got to tell the shit right. Anyway, that's not 100% yet. Um, apparently, uh, this TikToker Kayla Sharice was saying that we would probably know more about this after the upcoming writer strike that is apparently about to happen or is happening. Allison, listen to this shit, cause this shit is the kicker. Apparently another rumor is that Allison had a sex scene that Olivia, the actress, really wasn't feeling at all. Uh, she apparently had a disagreement with the intimacy coordinator because Olivia felt like it was degrading to Allison's character. Uh, and honestly, when people make critiques of the show, um, Game of Thrones, whatever it is, Game of Thrones, um, we just have to pay attention. It just, it makes sense to me that people would be uncomfortable with the amount of sexual violence. And to me, there is, there are ways to tell us narratively that sexual violence has happened without, you know, detailing every single graphic de detail, without showing us every single fucking detail. You could, you know, so I don't know if it's sexual violence or because they said a sex scene, but to me, if Olivia wasn't feeling that shit or if it's degrading, then that's sexual violence or whatever. And like I said, sexual violence, if it needs to be a part of the story, if it needs to be a part of the narrative, then I can understand some actors or actresses being like, all right, can we show this in a different way? Can we do this in a different way? Either way, Olivia felt uncomfortable with a fucking sex scene with Allison, right? That's the main point of this. Um, that's the main point. Um, and she, HBO didn't side with her. HBO said, well, tough, tough, <laughs> tough titty, tough, tough cookie, girl. Um, she apparently had a Zoom call with Matt and Emma on the call as well to support her with HBO. Um, and apparently Matt and Emma also had a list of grievances for their characters, but HBO dismissed them all apparently too. So, and, and the list of grievances that the actors brought to HBO were apparently all storylines that Miguel had created, hence the rewrites that were, that we've, that we're seeing, right? So all of that, not, they didn't, HBO didn't budge. Apparently, now I will continue to reiterate, these are rumors. <laughs> But the, the, the sources that they're coming from are apparently reliable. HBO didn't budge so bad that Olivia, Matt, and Emma went to George R. R. Martin to who agreed to back their claims. It was so bad that I guess on the call, Olivia, Matt, and Emma all resigned. <laughs> and then George accepted their resignations, but this forced HBO to change course and then rewrite season two with George being in charge of the rewrite. So remember that first video I had, I had um, brought to you all this news about there being rewrites and stuff. When the, first, when the news first dropped, everyone was like, okay, you know, something was going on. Obviously crazy shit is going on behind the scenes, but at least y'all rewriting that shit and y'all doing it how it needs to be done. Y'all putting George R. Martin in charge of it. But the fact that it took Olivia, apparently, allegedly, it took Olivia, Matt, and Emma to say, okay, we ain't coming back for HBO to actually fucking listen. It's just like, girl, HBO, y'all don't have, when it comes to George, when it comes to Game of Thrones, y'all need to listen to as much advice as y'all motherfucking can get from the creator of the story in the lore, George R. R. Martin, from people who are passionate about that shit, Ryan Condal. Like, y'all have no, I mean, and the actors themselves are coming to you saying that this shit don't look good, this shit don't feel good, this shit ain't good, and you still trying to ignore it? It took George R. R. Martin to accept their resignations for y'all to even fucking listen to that shit. Y'all need to sit your ass down and listen and ain't no way, like, I don't know if it's because, what do y'all think? Do you think it's because these executives at the top are so focused on just pump that shit out, pump that shit out. We don't care about the writing. We don't care about these delays and shit. Pump that shit out. Are you, do you think that's the reason why? Because, I mean, I mean, think about somebody like Matt Smith, right? Matt Smith seems to be so passionate about, um, 
his character, so passionate about the lore, so passionate about the story, to the point where, to the point that some of his, uh, a lot of his improv ideas that happened on set made it to the goddamn show. And you got Olivia apparently expressing these concerns. I mean, we can already tell that Emma's passionate about their character. So it's like, why do, why is it such a trend in, I don't know, artistic spaces when who are dominated by these studios? Like, why is it such a trend that y'all don't listen to the actors, the artists, the the writers, the makers, the doers? Like, why don't why don't these big companies shut the hell up and listen for once, for once, girl? So I don't know, I don't know. This is the, all the, the the combined news of all this shit is making me very scared for season two because I'm like, bitch, you got eight episodes and y'all hoes need to continue to develop these the characters in these stories. Like, I'm so sorry. And y'all cutting this shit down. We, I mean, y'all talking about three seasons? And I I haven't read all that shit for real, but the, the research on the lore that I did, I don't know how y'all gonna shove all them battles on them big ass battles on them fucking betrayals on them fucking, like, I don't know how y'all gonna put all that shit in three goddamn seasons, bitch. If y'all don't hold, I think they're aiming for four now, but because like I said, make y'all want to think. Oh, and Matt Smith, apparently, one of the rumors was that Matt Smith wanted to resign and they don't know if it was because of the production, the, the way production was going or the way his character was written. So I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, first part of the video has been confirmed. Last part is just rumors swirling around. But to me, these rumors don't seem like they're coming out of left field and that they don't make any sense at all. And bitch, this shit lines up with what we've been seeing, you know, with the announcements that have been made, the official announcements and the slowdowns and the pauses in production and the rewrites and shit. This would make a lot of sense. So let me know what y'all think about this because they are pissing me off. <laughs> they pissing me off. Y'all did not have enough dragons on screen for y'all to be doing this shit like this in season one, bitch. Y'all pissing me. Y'all pissing me off. Y'all pissing me off. So get this shit together, y'all. Oh my god, HBO so annoying with, when it comes to Game of Thrones. Get, what y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I will catch y'all later. Peace.